One of Yoshimi's little band of helpers um, has managed to do work that's way above my pay grade. Um, and that's on the um, uh, pad synth um, engine. Now, if I pick that up, um, if you go straight there, one of the problems with uh, a wavetable generator is that basically you generate the wavetable and then that's it. That's about as far as you can go. Um, well, I'm going to have to put the microphone down now because I can't do three hands, unfortunately. So if I start just with a, a fairly simple chord like that. That was just changing a wavetable whilst actually holding a chord down, which is supposed to be impossible. I hold that chord and I've just deliberately changed to a different channel so that it won't so it come off again. And I can now go further with this. So in real time, we're actually changing the entire wavetable. And again, resonance. All these controls, normally you would have to stop and start. And then if you decide you don't like that after all, you can just undo it all as well. And we're back to the start. Um, and as I said, that's just purely a wavetable generator. Um, other things that we've been doing is uh, with the graphics. Um, we stop that for the time being. One of the complaints that's been uh, made about Yoshimi is it's, uh, it looks old fashioned, the colours are, are not very nice and all the rest of it. Well, um, again, that doesn't have to be the case anymore now. Um, bring up the settings. And there's a new entry now, which didn't used to be their theme. And if you don't like the classic one, you can go to that instead. <laughs> or, or alternatively, if you're not particularly keen on that one, you can go to that one. <laughs> Let's close that one for a moment. Um, back to classic. Uh, blue tint if you want it and then if you just don't like any color at all then you go monochrome um, so you've got all the and and these th these different themes are fully editable they're plain text files and the files themselves actually have the description of what each each element does there's something like about 150 of them which you can which you can change and they'll change things like uh, individual um, groups of, of elements. At the same time, th that, it, that also has changed. Now the, the colours have real meaning. Um, anything that's a very rectangular green element is, is not going to make any effect itself. It's merely a link to something else. So like that, for example, it brings up that window. Anything that's blue will be an, an, an immediate change. 
Um, you saw all these lock, all these windows came up straight away. You can have a whole group of these windows now, which will remember their last position and will reopen if they were open before. Um, also, this particular group are all at part level, and which means if you change part, then they will update immediately as well to the relative part. So there's a, a, a kit there on that particular one. So you're always completely up to date. Um, and I think that's about it, really. Or, or like, oh, sorry, one other thing. Um, all sliders and all controls indicate whether they're at the uh, default position by changing colour if they're not. They go red if they're not. And the right-hand clip goes back to the default. That's about it. Thank you, James.